morning guys i don't know what time is it but anyway um it's been long we haven't recorded any videos for the longest time possible well guys uh, keeping up is not easy but uh, we have been uh, busy 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 but um, today we have a little time to at least to do something with you guys um, people have been asking uh, where do we get internet for blah 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 well if you are in Kenya I know you've heard about Starlink um, you've heard about the packages they have blah 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 etc well if you are starting that's the right way to go <laughs> Starlink Starlink well I'm laughing because uh, uh, big boys are crying Safaricom and the rest anyway 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 Starlink is Starlink so um before you buy sterling by the way you guys <laughs> you don't just buy because people are buying you you'll have to like know exactly what you're doing before before you get there so them who are starting 50 people and below bana, go to sterling bana. just buy the kit buy the version 3 one uh, no more speeds good latencies better jitters and all that so go for it go for it why not go for it mm, it will cost you roughly 70 something thousand to buy but um, if you plan yourself well if you can share that link with a few people well well returns as long as it brings returns so guys um uh, Today's video will show you how to set up the wisp, setting up the wisp and, and all that. So once again, uh, in this video we are focusing on uh, a setup for a wisp. So um, this is our main office. This is where our main, uh, I will say our core network is and uh, from this mast here this is where now we redistribute it to different places and uh, some of the places we have showed you in uh, other videos so um, from here we are creating a point to point uh, over different distances because from here then we have substations around these places so uh, setting up this I will say if you can notice they are in different colors there's a red white red as it goes well currently in Kisumu County they are going to pass a bill very soon that when you have such a small mass like this you have to pay something uh, that is there for the government so you have to do that then, uh, as you can see, there is another bigger mast there. So, for that one as well, I don't know what the charges are, but they are different ones. So, um, in the next video, I'm going to talk about our relationship between that mast and this one over here. So, for now, uh, building such is not that expensive as people think. So guys, I don't know if you can see it right there, one of the stations that uh, Yeah, so this is one of the stations we just kind of uh, identified a higher place which is this uh, water tank here then uh, we are receiving a signal from there then uh, we just raised an access point up there so that is an omnitic an omnitic it's a micro device 
that is uh, 360 degrees. So uh, what we did is we received the signal from there. Then we re-broadcast it again, as you can see up there. Then of course for the equipment that you have to like do a point to point to other substations, they are of different prices because they have to use different, uh, I would say different brands. Over long distances we do Cambium, over short distances we do Microtic uh, or uh, we do Ubiquiti. Oh, uh, in our network we do not do Ubiquities. So um, that also depends with what you have. There are places with good line of sight, LOS. There are places with bad line of sight, I would say so. So these different places, the only thing that will differentiate them is uh, how they are located. Are they having good LOS? Are they having bad LOS? And if so, which equipment are you going to be using? Is it a long distance but with good LOS or short distance with good LOS? That as well is something that has to be considered. So um, I think that's that for that. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section. We will react on it. So. Yeah, so guys, it's very, very important to know that uh, before you do all this, of course, number one, you have to do your research. You have to know what the market says, what the demands are there for the market. And also you need to do a proper, 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 proper survey. So them who are not within where we are and you feel that we need to help you with that, the only thing that we'll need is the coordinates and all that but we'll get back to that in a bit later now uh, it is very 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 important to to do your survey as you do your survey of course you have to like ask people around uh, if i bring you internet and this and this and this will you be able to pay blah 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 etc so that you know exactly the numbers that you are going to be working with and all that if you have proper planning if you have proper planning then go ahead and do it so uh, for the survey it's very important you do it so that you know exactly what equipments you are going to be using and exactly how much you need to start uh, or how much you need to like invest on so that you can start this work so I will urge them who feel in themselves that they want to do this number one do your survey don't just get into it because people are getting into it of course of late there's been stalling um, in different areas especially in Kenya well that is okay um, 
before they get to the fair usage policy and all that, I understand currently they are having unlimited uh, data, which I don't think that exists. But anyway, if it does, then uh, you are in a very remote places. Well, you can do this. You can get the Starlink, have this set up here, and off you go. So for for that, you need to. Everything is is just dwelling around the survey and all that. If you do a proper survey with the right numbers and everything right, then you are good to go. All you need to do is to like uh, do a plot on uh, the places you are going to be putting your access points, uh, plot on the places you are going to have your substations, and uh, you calculate the number of equipment you are going to be using or in, in terms of uh, different locations, calculate the power, the power backup you are going to be using, and there you go, that's all you need. So uh, you need to design a network uh, after having the knowledge or after knowing exactly where are you going to be covering and what are the distances in between. So with that, I think that marks that if you have any questions about surveys and uh, plotting and uh, network designing, put it in the comment sen section and we are going to react on it. So once again, thank you. Thank you.